Hi, my name is Lisa. That's Money Penny. She's laying down. And you're watching One Lisa Show. Today's Friday Sews. And I haven't done a Friday Sews in a while. I've been busy. I've been working, dog, dog nabbit. Some people work and some people sew and some people try to do both and it's really hard to do both. I wanted to share a few items that I've been working on mostly because I'm giving them away tomorrow and they won't be here for me to share if I do choose to do a what I made this month video. Let me start out with what I'm wearing because I always forget that and I am wearing the Simplicity 1538 pattern. This is a pattern I did cut. It's a nice shirt. I made the size 18 it looks like from what I've cut out. This is in a um, flannel cotton flannel from Joann's. It's, uh, this shirt is like two years old at this point. I still wear it. I love it. I mostly love how I, my pattern matching. That, I don't know how I pulled it off. I highly recommend this shirt. I think the 18 is actually, it's perfect for winter. So if I'm, I think if I was going to make myself a blouse to wear a long sleeve blouse to wear in cool in warmer months I probably would even size down one more size just because I can wear a t-shirt underneath well you can't tell but I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath because it's cold and snowing and we had snow yesterday we're gonna have snow on and off for the next few days and not a massive accumulation in Indiana but enough to to make it chilly and I just want to snuggle when I'm cold and I look outside and there's snow on the ground. Some of that I'm sure is psychological. One of the things I wanted to be diligent about this year, and I know we're only into the first three weeks of January, but Granny, so Granny Sewing Room. So if you know Sherry from Granny Sewing Room, this was a book I got from her. And it is like a journal, like a sewing. It's just simple. But I have been keeping notes and all my makes this year because I did want to do, I wanted to average one make a week and 52 makes for the year. So that'll give me some easy makes, some enough for some hard makes. But it is a, I have a feeling this is not a lofty goal to have 52 makes in a year because I'm counting every item I make and finish, including one of my other goals was to start using up my scraps and I made some scrappy panties. I'm only showing you a few of these makes, sorry. Um, but I count this as one make. This is a pair of underwear. They look really big when I hold them up like this, but once I wash them, they'll kind of shrink down. But I made, using scraps, I made some panties with the Megan Nielsen Acacia pattern, which is free. And I know I make a size way bigger than I need, but I think if there's one thing I can have, it's comfy panties. And I'm a firm believer that if they're a little big on you and there's room, they're more comfortable. So I made a couple with some scraps and I'm really pleased about those. I also made my niece a t-shirt out of scraps. And I loved this so much that I made her sister a shirt out of not, well, the, the black is scraps, but this I found at Joann's, this Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas print, and it was clearance off, 70% off, people. It is a 95% cotton jersey. And this is a Little Rosie Cheeks label, You Deserve to Dream because it's going to be her birthday. Well, her birthday is Friday, the 27th today. I'm filming this on a Thursday, but when this comes out, it'll be Friday, the 27th. Here's the kicker. Oh, and I surged the bottom. I left it kind of raw, so it's like semi-raw. I surged it because I thought that was clever for a, this one I did the same. I thought that was more appropriate for a baseball t-shirt. A raglan style baseball tee. I did a shorter sleeve for both of them and if you're wondering what the pattern is it's the Tilly and the Buttons Frankie tee from the stretch book that is an adult pattern but it's not very size inclusive which lends very well to Auntie Lisa 
uh, because I did the smallest size, which is a size one, I knew it would still be kind of baggy on them. I also shortened it at the length and shorten line, which is right, I think, below the waist. And I shortened it by, I want to say, it was one or two inches because one is eight and one is about to be, well, today she turns 11. Happy birthday, Sarah. Auntie loves you. I thought this would fit them. I actually compared it to some of their t-shirts uh, that I've seen them wearing lately and I thought this should fit. And so I was so pleased to make those. And like I said, the one is completely out of scraps. I'm happy I had enough to do so. And the other one, the sleeves were out of scraps and I bought some ribbing for the neckline for this. And I thought I could always use black ribbing and this. And I actually have a good chunk of this left because I only did the body of it. I'm really happy with that. I count all of those as one make each. So that's four makes. I guess I'm gonna go through some of my makes this month with you. And then I also made, out of some fabric I got from my sister for Christmas, which is this lovely maroon uh, spotted dot print. And it's got yellow, pink, um, like a navy and white, just dots, random dots. And this is a cotton jersey. It doesn't have much stretch, but perfect for a Freya dress. And this is with the mock turtleneck, the mock neck. It is a little thin, so I think it's going to have to warm up. Otherwise, I'd be wearing that today, but I chose to kind of keep it toasty. I'm wearing, uh, these are jeans from the store. It does fit awesome. I love it. Thank you, Kelly, for giving me that fabric. So that is five makes there. And then I also made two bras, which are in, in my laundry basket. So I can't really show those to you, but they are the Sahara Bra by Ruby's Bras. It's not a cheap pattern. It is I want to say it was like $20 for that pattern. It is a wire-free bra. It took me two tries, that's why I made two, to get the size right. And I have made bras before. But their instructions are good and Liz Sews has a tutorial that was wonderful. And the fabric I used in the finding kits were from Bra Builders. I highly suggest if you want to try your hands at making a bra, it's an awesome bra. I actually made an un, both of them are unlined versions, but I used a duoplex on one and micro duoplex on the other. And both are very soft. So even though there's a seam on the inside and it's only got the one layer of fabric, it's not lined. It is very comfortable. I made them with the purpose. Well, I'll do a whole review on those later. How's that? I'm going to do a whole review. I'm going to make sure they're clean, show you. I'm not going to model them, but I will show you and what I learned. I love them. I'm planning to make more. I just want to make everything right now. Winter, for some reason, I don't want to work. I just want to sew. And unfortunately, I've got work going on that I can't avoid. So I can't just forget everything else and sew. So I've done those five items plus two bras so far and the month is technically not over. I have a weekend and I have some items cut out so I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get those finished as well. Sherry, this book has come in handy. I even though it's an, I'm just taking notes on everything I'm making, what size I'm doing, I did that the first year I was sewing and then I didn't do it last year at all. I thought I would and I didn't. So we're gonna see if I can get those 52 items done this year, but no rush. What else has been going on in my world? I have two projects cut out for this weekend. One is not meant to be a quick project. It is a Simplicity 8014 dress, which is if I can insert a picture of the pattern, I will do so right here. I've made this item, this dress, well, I made a version of the dress in this pattern before with the gathered skirt, and this time I'm making the shirt dress that is not gathered. 
So I'm looking forward to that. I'm using some corduroy fabric I have from Beyond the Pink Door. It's already been cut out. And the excess that I had, the scraps of that fabric, I used to cut um, a skirt for one of my nieces because it's the perfect amount and a corduroy skirt in the winter or fall is, can't go wrong. There's still a few scraps I have left and I thought if I have enough of different apparel fabrics, those might, the corduroy, I have other corduroys that I have scraps of, and I am just have this feeling, I had this vision the other night that I could patch those together and make a Megan Nielsen Hovea jacket from the patchwork of some of my apparel fabrics. Because my one of my last videos I went through and talked about how I had this stash of scraps and there is a massive chunk that are more apparel fabric. Um, they're like twills, Lyocell twills from Joann's. Some of them are lightweight, some of them are heavier. And I just thought, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these small bits, but then it dawned on me, those pieces, whether they match or not, if I can cut them up and mash them all together it might make for a really good Hovea jacket like a patchwork jacket so I will insert a picture of what the Hovea looks like I have made an online version before I'd like to make the quilted version and we'll see what happens I think that's about it for my Friday sews I'm just happy I could come on and say hello to everybody because it's been a while and I'm out of I'm out of the loop I'm out of sorts <laughs> And I'm just, uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to share, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And forgive me, because I want to share. It's finding the time and the daylight to make it happen. And having that patience as well. When I have those moments, like last night, all I wanted to do was sew. So I sewed and didn't uh, film. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope everybody's doing well and I plan to have at least one day this weekend for sewing and watching all the videos. I have been, I've been very much so missing Beyond the Pink Doors lives and if you know Andrea or you watch the lives, she's been remodeling her shop and her workspace and so there, there hasn't been a lot of lives in the past month and it's been really tough on Sundays. So I've been using that to nap. <laughs> I should be sewing, but I've been using it to nap. I'll be honest with you. I need a good nap here and there. And on cold days, I want to just snuggle in a nest all day. And that's kind of what we call our beds. Like this is the, I'm in the guest room. This bed is a perfect bed for naps. You don't, it's just perfect. It's plush, it's pillow top. There's a TV in here. And I feel if I go into my bed, I might not get out of it until dinner time and then have a very unproductive day. And as you get older, time moves ridiculously fast. There is a quote in Ferris Bueller's Day Off and I'll put it down here. I'll find the actual quote, the line from the movie. Um, it it rings so very true and I, I always, appreciated the quote when I was younger if you don't stop you know you just might miss it I appreciated and liked the quote then but I get it now if that makes sense I get it and every day I feel like there's not enough time in the day because it's time moves so much faster when you get older and and I'm 46 and I am fearful fearful that it's gonna move faster in the future so with that being said, everybody, have a great, great day. Happy birthday, Sarah. Auntie loves you. And Penny says hello, even though she's completely buried in all those pillows right now. That's her nest. Until next time, you guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.